I'm not ashamed. What did the court of the tabernacle look like? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse by verse study of the book of Exodus on walking through the Bible. If you have a Bible with you, turn to Exodus 38. We're going to be reading from verses 9 to 20. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So, Exodus 38, beginning at verse 9. Then he made the court on the south side. The hangings of the court were a fine woven linen, 100 cubits long. There were 20 pillars for them with 20 bronze sockets. The hooks of their pillars and their bands were silver. On the north side, the hangings were 100 cubits long with their 20 pillars and their 20 bronze sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. And on the west side, there were hangings of 50 cubits with 10 pillars and their 10 sockets. The hooks of their pillars and their bands were silver. For the east side, the hangings were 50 cubits. The hangings of one side of the gate were 15 cubits long with their three pillars and their three sockets. And the same for the other side of the court gate. On this side and that were hangings of 15 cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets. All the hangings of the court all around were of fine woven linen. The sockets for the pillars were bronze, the hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver, and the overlay of their capitals was silver. All the pillars of the court had bands of silver. The screen for the gate of the court was woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread and of fine woven linen. The length was 20 cubits and the height along its width was 50 five cubits, corresponding to the hangings of the court. And there were four pillars with their four sockets of bronze, their hooks were silver, and the overlay of their capitals and their bands was silver. All the pegs of the tabernacle and of the court all around were bronze. In this section of Exodus, we have the children of Israel actually making the tabernacle, following the instructions that we read of earlier in the book. As we said in previous episodes, we're going to review what we learned from chapters 25 through 31 following the readings of each section. The instructions we read of today were found in chapter 27, lessons 103 and 104 of the series. Of course, what we're talking about in today's reading is the building of the court for the tabernacle. When we think of the tabernacle, we think of the building itself, but actually it was surrounded by a court or an open space that was enclosed by walls. Inside these walls, the functions of the tabernacle were undertaken not only within the tabernacle, but within the court itself. On the south side of the court, which on our screen is the left-hand side of the picture, there were hangings made of fine woven linen, meaning that this would be a hard, firm fabric. These hangings served as the walls of the court of the tabernacle. This side of the court measured 100 cubits long. A cubit is 45.72 centimeters, or 1.5 feet. So the south side of the court would measure 45.72 meters or 150 feet long. There were 20 pillars on the south side to act as the structure for the walls as well as sockets for keeping these pillars in the ground. These sockets would be similar to the sockets that we discussed in the building of the tabernacle. It can be assumed that these pillars would be made of acacia wood like the pillars of the tabernacle were. These pillars would then be overlaid with bronze. The sockets for the pillars were to be bronze as well. The hooks and their bands on which the curtains were hung were made of silver. The north side of the tabernacle on the right side of our picture was made in the same way. The width of the court on the west side of the court, the top of our picture, was 50 cubits, meaning it would measure 22.86 meters or 75 feet. Because the width was half the length, it would only need 10 pillars and 10 sockets. Just like on the south and north sides, hangings were used for the walls. The east side of the court at the front of our picture was the same overall width as the west side, 75 feet. However, a door or gate would need to be made for it. Thus, in order to allow for this gate, the hangings on the one side of the gate measured 15 cubits or 22 and a half feet and was divided over three pillars. The same is true on the other side of the gate, meaning that the gate filled the remaining space and measured 30 feet in width. The gate was made of woven blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine woven linen made by a weaver. That meant that it would look similar to the screen on the door of the tabernacle. Recall from earlier that the west side of the court had 10 posts and 10 sockets. Up to this point, the east side only had six posts and six sockets. So it's no wonder that the gate would have four posts and four sockets on which to hang this screen. There were also to be bands of silver for each pillar, which would further tether the structure to the ground. All told, the court of the tabernacle measured 150 feet long by 75 feet wide. 
We also find that the height of the court was five cubits, meaning it was 228.6 centimeters or seven, seven and a half feet tall. The section concludes by telling us all the pegs of the tabernacle and the court were made of bronze. With that, our time is up for today, Lord willing. We hope you'll join us for tomorrow's discussion of Exodus 38, verses 21 to 31, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world.